So now that you know what repeat grid is and some repeat grid basics, I'm going to show you why you might want to use repeat grid release at some points during your design. So hopefully you understand what repeat grid is and why we would use it within our designs now. So say we have a long list of items that we are using repeat grid on, but for instance, there might be something where say we would want to change the color of one of these to make them more prominent or to stand out or just to show as different to the rest. Now the problem we would have with this right now is if we decided to change any element of the design of this it would change it across all of them. So what we want to do is click on the entire group of repeat grid items, right click and head down to ungroup grid. Now what that does is releases all the items from your repeat grid and that then enables you to click into specific items, change the colour, change the typefaces without it updating across every single item that you've used repeat grid on. So there are times when you will want to release elements from the grid to make changes as well as using repeat grid where possible to take the legwork out of creating the spacing and creating individual elements. It just makes really good design sense to use repeat grid where necessary and then release from the grid when you want to change something of an individual element.